Well, here at CNN, we're running the Freedom Project, which aims to highlight modern-day slavery and help put a stop to the practice. At Cresby's Business, we've been looking at companies that have been doing their bit to make a difference. One of those is The Body Shop, whose late founder, Anita Roddick, started the Stop Sex Trafficking of Children petition. The petition was handed to the UN last month. Reuters reports that four years after the founder's death, the petition has seven million signatures and claims to have helped persuade 14 governments to change their laws. Last week, I sat down with the Body Shop's executive chairwoman, Sophie Gasperon, to talk about the success of this petition. And I asked her where the campaign went from here. To date, we've uh, done the campaign in 50 markets around the world, 50 countries. We've taken the petition to 34 and 15 governments have already committed to take action or already taken action. So we're us, going to continue to do that. Give us an example of the type of actions that you've seen take place as a result of the campaign. Uh, it can be uh, the creation of a dedicated helpline for victims of trafficking, which is free and advertised throughout the country. It can be some dedicated police units specifically trained to uh, welcome victims of trafficking and help them uh, on the path of recovery and building their future. It can be signing the UN protocol uh, which is a very important measure to ensure sustainable change in markets. So each of your campaigns is specific to a particular country and the needs in that exactly. country? That's what makes this campaign particularly successful. And your proudest achievement? Probably the first country which committed to take a significant action, which was Malta. Yeah, uh, and then exactly the rest followed. Ago. And then the rest followed. So we still have quite a few uh, to achieve, but uh, the whole business and the whole teams are very committed and we've had unprecedented support from our customers, more than 7 million petition to date. Exactly, and it's the biggest petition, I think, that's ever gone to the United Nations, is that it's right? It's one of the biggest, and it's the biggest in the history of the body shop. You know, the body shop has a long uh, history and uh, authority in campaigning, and this is the biggest one ever, uh, which shows, you know, how uh, important an issue it is. And just explain that, because um you're a campaigning body as much as a company, aren't you? You're not just selling products. So how do you see your company? Uh, we're, we're a business and a brand which was founded on the idea that business can be and should be a force for good. So uh, we sell fantastic beauty products, very high quality beauty products. But that's only part of the business? That's part of the brand. At the same time, we believe in our business as a force for good whether it is about environmental change or social change. And this campaign is exactly that. It's but is that uh, to help sell the products, or is it just a different part of your strategy? It's an integrated part of the brand. The more successful we are with the campaign, the more we can rally the, the uh, energies around the world, the more the brand stands out, the more it is what we're about, and the more we're successful as a business. And the more we're successful as a business, the more we can support all these projects, which for us are the way to do business. And do you think we're getting somewhere with fighting slavery? Absolutely. I, I believe that we're absolutely making progress. Our whole idea in picking that theme for the campaign was that it was a very challenging topic, a very uncomfortable issue, a global issue, the third biggest criminal industry in the world and raising fast. But we believe that we could do something about it and not only about raising awareness or raising funds to alleviate the suffering on the ground, which we've done, of course, but also about changing things in a sustainable way by changing the, the structural way this problem is addressed and market by market. It really is something that we can change, though, isn't it? Because it seems that everyone has agreed that it's a bad thing, generally speaking. It's just it exists because of all these different problems everywhere and no one really yes, taking responsibility absolutely. for it. It's a very challenging issue, but this is why Precisely. This is why we chose not to do a campaign that would only be against a topic, but very concretely focused on what actions, what are the one, two or three key actions that governments can take in each market to change the situation. Some good news, at least in the fight.